Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. We're on our own. Fans, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. And some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see.
He'll be in the church. Stick close. Eyes open. These folks can spook easily. Brooke, I mean, this is why I'm here. What are they doing here? Be calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Sheriff, I don't like this. Everything's fine, Hudson. Everything's just fine. Jesus Christ. You're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges much out here. They'll respect a 9mm. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet, Marshal. You just bought yourself some trouble. Any business? <laughs> We do it my way, quietly, calmly. You got it? Fine. Hudson on the door. Watch our backs. Don't let any of these people get in. Rookie, on me. And you, just try not to do anything stupid. Relax, Sheriff. You're about to get your name in the paper. You'll be fine. Something is coming. You can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. They will try to take from us. Take our guns. Take our freedom. Take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, sure, come on. Along, we will not let their greed or their immorality or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff, sure, there not will be no more effect. suffering. Oh, fuck. Us. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. Oh, uh, do not touch that service weapon. Hold on and don't stand down. Stand down. Put your guns down. Everyone calm down. We knew this moment would come. We've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal, and I heard, as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see. Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was a white horse. And the hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. Rook, put the cuffs on him. Put down your guns, take your friends, and walk away. Come on, rookie. God is watching us, and he will judge you on what you choose in this moment. God damn it, rookie!
Sheriff, hold on, Marshal. Sometimes it's best to leave well enough alone. We're leaving, Rook. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Sheriff, get back there. Shut up and listen. You put those cuffs on him. None of us get out of here alive. I will have you all arrested. So be it. God will not let you take me. Rook, put the cuffs on him. Sometimes it's the best thing to do is to walk away. Let's go. Take point, we're going right. On it. Stay on the path, rookie. Back up, back up. What are you doing? Everyone, keep back. Rookie, keep up. I am a federal marshal. I'm ordering you to stand back. Dispatch. Oh my god. Everything is just fine here. No need to call anyone. Yes, Father. Praise be to you. No one is coming to save you. God has kept you under the shadow of his wings. Everything is unfolding according to God's plan. I am still here with you. If 
first seal has been broken. The collapse has begun. And we will take what we need. And we will preserve what we have. And we will kill all those who stand in our way. And these, the harbingers of doom, will see the truth. We gotta get out of here. Begin the refit! We gotta get out of here. Come on. Jesus Christ. Rook, I'm sorry. I thought they got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Check the room, Rook. Oh, Jesus. I had no idea. Fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula, and then, we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these. Okay, shh.
Smart. We don't know who we can trust. Fucking Nancy. Oh no. Oh no. They got the roads blocked. Thanks to God, the day I have prophesied to you has arrived. Everything I told you has come true. The authorities who tried to take me from you are now in the loving embrace of my family. Save for one. that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. 
But mostly it means we're all fucked. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it. For years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. Anyone who falls in, please respond if you can hear me. Over. One, two, one, two. I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather is that your partners are alive for now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want them back, I get it, I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's gotta be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're gonna do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, 
we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Be careful out there. It's crawling. fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. Should have some good gear squirreled away.
I know I heard that. down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to pick up a gun and return the favor. He claims the property. The station is built on federal land after all. But if some people are traipsing around the area and, what did you say, taking measurements and such? Anyway, those folks from Eden's Gate could potentially be charged with trespassing. I know they're kind of weird and unsociable, but I think if you give them a harsh word and a hard stare, they'll back off. I mean, how dangerous are these no jobs gonna be? What are hey, get me out of here. Thank you, Deputy. You're a godsend. I'm going after that cult twice as hard now. You made the right call. Why not? Shit, kid. I'm impressed. There's more fighting you than I thought. You got a real shot at setting up this resistance. Next step is clearing up the radio signal. My CB's on the fritz. I can't get a hold of anyone off this island. The radio tower near the south shore must be busted. You think you can take care of that for me? Nothing! Plant my body! 
God, that was intense. thinking and no. I ain't gonna have you climbing towers all over the county for me, so don't worry. Also, try not to fall from up there. centers every one of us you me <laughs> even the father knows deeply of sin it's a poison that clouds our minds what if I told you you could be free from sin what if I told you that everything you ever dream could come true what if I told you that everything could be overcome if you embraced an idea That freedom from sin can come from the power of just one word. Yes, I am a sinner. Yes, I wish to be unburdened. Yes, I must be. Redeemed. If you're watching this, know that you have been selected. You will be cleansed. You will confess your sins. And you will be offered atonement. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything. We'll come for you. Welcome to Eden's Gate. Hey kid, I marked three locations to your map to get you 
started. Lumber Mill up north, the Hope County Jail to the east, and the town of Falls End to the west. Now it's your call, but if I were you, I'd start with Falls End. We must expose our sins. We must atone. Sinister. Only then may we stand in the light of God and walk through his gates on to Eden. What the? I just saw Merle driving towards the trailer park right before the cult rolled up. Knowing him, he's looking for a fight. I hope he's got people to help him. Stand a chance here. Like we owe you one. Mm. Finally, someone I can depend on. Hello, deputy. Thanks for saving the day here, kid. Name's Merle. Merle Briggs. These sons of bitches are making me regret the day I eased up on their conniving little schemes. I fucking knew this would happen. Doesn't make a difference now. All I know is we got people to protect. I know how to get back at the cult. But if we're gonna do it right, we need the Death Wish. That's my truck. Problem is, it's sitting in a garage that's been overrun by those fucks. You head over to US Auto and get it. I'll make sure the folks here are safe. I'll meet you there and we'll go on a rampage against those ass wipes. Sinners. Every one of us. You, me, 
the father knows. Got a mark. The Colt's been rounding up all the dogs in the county and sending them north. I tried calling Ray Ray to warn her, but she won't pick up. I'm worried about what's happened. She loves Boomer like he's her kid. It's Ray Ray.
a job for you. Brothers and sisters. <clears throat> someone out there is not playing by the rules. Someone is taking from us. Stealing what rightfully belongs to the father. They are a murderer and a coward. But God sees them. And God will guide us to them. They will be found. And they will be punished. This is the will of the father. Better be well prepared to survive out here. Nice work getting rid of those cultists. Might be you could help me with something else. All this ripe fruit is attracting bears. Under normal circumstances, we try and catch them and release them somewhere safer. These bears got into some of that bliss crap the cult had stored out back. It's making them act all crazy. It's too dangerous to catch them. We gotta put them down. One of our patrols tried warning some out-of-towner about Eden's Gate, but the guy apparently blew him off. Said he'd survive pirates and bloodthirsty dictators, so no Colt was gonna have him shaking in his boots. Jesus Christ!
Hudson's in trouble. John's got her. 